what is going on guys we are back here today on showdown i got another discussion video for y'all one that i've been pretty excited to do this time we're going to be talking about stall and scarlet and violet ou so gen 9 did just come out a couple of weeks ago it's been about three weeks we've had some time for the metagame to develop and yeah as you can see from the thumbnail i have come to terms with stall and i really do not think it's good at all i would say that it's terrible and i would go as far as to say that it's the worst or the second worst like style currently in the metagame i would always prefer hyper offense offense or even you know bulky offense balance all those far to stall currently so i figured you know what why not talk about it basically bring up you know why i think stall fell off why i think that it might be able to recover with pokemon home when new pokemon come around but basically i want to highlight everything that really changed in generation 9 and why i think stall has such a terrible time in this current metagame just you know keeping up to pace with everything else but before i get into it any further i just want to say thank you all for the love so far that you've been giving me with Gen 9. I'm up so many subs. I think I just hit 100k last month. Now I'm at 112k. Truly appreciate it. Go ahead and like this video if you haven't already. I'm trying to get 2k likes by tomorrow on this one. So go ahead and do that. And let's get right into it, Agency. Let me talk about Stall. So the first thing we can talk about with Stall, and this is something that's common every generation. The power creep goes up. Nothing changed in Gen 9 OU. The power creep went up even harder. So just straight off the bat, I have the usage statistics right here. We scroll up to the top, and what do we see for the two most used Pokemon? Golden Go and Chi Yu. I would say that these are the two biggest threats to stall in the current metagame by far. Let's look at Golden Go, for example. Now, Golden Go, the set that we see most of the time with this guy is just Scarf. Trick, Shadow Ball, Make It Rain, and then usually we see Focus Blast, or you can see Recover. You can see, uh, what's the word? You can see Trick Nasty Plot as well. This one is max HP, max speed, showing that it kind of has a support role, but usually I just run a max special attack, max speed set myself. This is a Recover Thunder Wave set, but anyway, Golden Go has so many different options on what it can do, but the thing is, it's always going to have that ability, good as gold. And because of that ability, Stall has such a terrible, terrible time getting around Golden Go, right? The way Stall used to do its thing back in Generation 8 and Generation 7 is mainly it would rely on keeping hazards off at all times. Now in Gen 6 and Gen 7, we had Megas, so you could use Mega Sableye to keep hazards off. In Gen 8, we got rid of hazards. I mean, we got rid of Megas. So the only way to keep hazards off was to do it with Defog from Tornadus, Skarmory, Corviknight, whatever you want to do. Those guys are usually able to keep hazards off. Now, Defog has taken a heavy nerf in this game, and that's just one of the moves that Pokemon have completely lost distribution of. So a lot of Pokemon that used to be able to defog, I mean, even in Generation 8 underused, we would see defog Salamence because it had Intimidate. Good defensive capabilities, you know, he'd be able to defog with combination of heavy-duty boots. Think about Gen 8 OU. All we saw was Tornadus T flapping its wings all over this bitch all the time, defogging away. Now that defog has been axed from so many Pokemon's move pool, we really don't have too many hazard removal that uh, is able to, you know, get around. We have Corviknight as the premier defogger. Corviknight is never going to beat Golden Go. We have Iron Treads and Great Tusk, two ground types that are able to rapid spin. However, those mons are not exactly able to switch into any of Golden Go's moves without taking more than half of their damage. And then other options when it comes to removal are stuff like Talonflame and Mold Breaker Holucha, which are absolutely memes and should not even be seriously considered. So when you think of a Pokemon like Golden Go, which is able to come in with its just ability good as gold and shut down so many Pokemon, not to mention you look at other stall Pokemon like Blissey. What does Blissey use? Thunder Wave? Uh, what's it called? Thunder Wave uh, Seismic Toss. It's not able to hit Golden Go. They now have to run Shadow Ball specifically for Golden. Another thing we have to talk about is that hazards are so omnipresent in this current metagame. They gave Stealth Rock to literally everything. And they gave Spikes to literally everything in this new game. Claude, Glamora, Garchomp, Meow, Ting Lu, Orthrum. All of these are pretty viable spikers in the tier. And they're all good at it. We even have a bunch of shit from Yu Yu that can spike up. Now we have Gastrodon, we have Quagsire, we still have the OG shit like Klefki, Quillfish even. Um, I've used Sandy Shocks to spikes as well in my videos a couple times. I used Toad Scroll just the other day. A lot of things still have the ability to spike up. When you've taken Defog away from almost every single Pokemon, and Golden Go is at the top of his usage. Look at this 32.46% meaning it's almost on one in every three teams. Look at Chiyu, which has 23%. So definitely quite a leg below Golden Go, but it's still found on almost one in four teams. Chiyu is basically my next point. That mon alone invalidates a lot of these stall teams. All he has to do is turn into, him, into his own stab types, for the most part. You turn Terra Dark or you turn Terra Fire, and stall in general is going to get clipped. Stall's bulkiest mon on the special side is Blissey. That is what it always is. Terra, Bla Terra Fire, Specs Fire Blast from Chiyu is going to 2 KO all Blissies. There's nothing you can do, which leaves you then with the option of what? 
going into your Gastrodon, which is max special defense. First of all, Gastrodon is not good in the current metagame. And if you do want to use some bullshit like that, it's just going to get Dark Pulse flinched by Chiyu, or it's going to Terra Blast into a Grass type. It, it, the point is, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to beat Chiyu with your stall team, really no matter what, if you're using your regular basic stall build with everything being really slow, because we're not able to defog as well as we used to in the previous generations. That is the big issue with stall. They are forced in a position where they have to go with Great Tusk or Iron Treads as their most consistent hazard removal. Stuff like Mence lost its defog, so it's not even like Roaring Moon could be some fast defogger. Rotom Wash can't defog no more. It's annoying. And it's not like you can just staple Tornadus T to all of your teams like they could in Gen 8. Gen 8, they loved having Torn T. Because with Heavy Duty Boots, it's always coming in at 100%. Has the great gift of Regenerator. And the big thing is that it's faster than everything. All those big threats like Kartana, obviously they would get cooked by uh, Tornadus T. That doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. So for that reason, even Pokemon like Golden Go, who at max hit what? 293 speed? This isn't even fast. But stall teams find themselves getting spun by this. So yeah, I would say that Chiyu and Golden Go right now, Pokemon-wise, are two of the most annoying things for stall. These two alone just give such pressure, right? And the fact that Golden Go is, again, 32%, we got Chiyu at 23%, this is really overwhelming for stall. Like, if you have to always deal with these two Pokemon, and more often than not, your opponent's going to have one of these two shits, it's going to be tough. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's going to be tough. And in some cases, if you do play the Specs Chiyu, it just does feel impossible, right? The combination of Dark Pulse being able to flinch through whatever, and the fact that once it terrestrializes into a pure fire type, it'll just kill everything with Fire Blast, Stall is really not going to have too much of a good chance. Let's keep it pushing. Let's talk to some prominent Stall mods that didn't return this generation. First off, we're going to talk about someone who did return, but got just completely brutally obliterated, Toxapex. Everybody knows that this guy got cooked, right? There's no more knockoff for him. There's no more Scald for him. So that alone, that alone is just, it's like, what the hell? He can't Scald and he can't knock off. His offensive capabilities are completely gone. Toxapex is the poster child for do-nothing stall bullshit. You bring this Mon in back in Gen 8 and Gen 7, and you sit around. You knock off the opponent in front of you until they switch, and you go, yes, he switched. Now I got a second knockoff off, and I'm ahead. And you are ahead. Because knocking off your opponent's items is the fastest way to establish that you're ahead in game. But say your Toxpex couldn't use knockoff. Say you, you didn't have space for it. Then you use Scald and you burn the Ferrothorn. You burn the Garchomp. You go ahead and you burn the Lander's T. You burn the Dragapult on the Switch. It doesn't matter. You get that dumbass 30% burn and you have done your job as... You, you've done offensive capabilities even though you were supposed to be a defensive do-nothing Pokemon. These two moves were amazing for Pex. Now, that's just Pex. A lot of Pokemon got fucked over with this, and they lost this. Let's look at Knockoff right now from viable Pokemon in the metagame. We have Cyclozar, who's not bulky, right? So this is not really meant for stall. This is for offense teams. Tusk and Treads, which do have decent Fizz Def, so you can definitely use them on bulkier teams. Valiant and Meow, which are fully offensive Pokemon. And then we go to Yu Yu, and we have a bunch of bullshit, right? I'd say the best Knockoff from this is like Sableye, Grafaii, Wochen, like... And then we go down to LC. So as you can see, Knockoff got completely taken away. Toxic, a move that used to be a TM, has also completely left the scene. We got it on Amoongus. We got it on Breloom, who's never going to use it. Claude. Toxic is really just left on the poison types that would maybe be seen with it. Claude and Pex should be running Toxic always. At least Claude should. I really couldn't even tell you what Pex should run now, because I wouldn't recommend using this. Another thing we can talk about with defensive Pokemon, and this specifically works with Toxic Pex as well, is Terrastalizing. I'm going to give you all an example of another Pokemon that's not here yet, but will be here soon. When Heatran comes back with Pokemon Home, this is a Pokemon that defensively, why would you terastalize this guy? That is something I think about a lot. Heatran already has access to Flash Fire, so I thought, oh shit, let me terastalize him into a water, t uh, not a water type, a grass type. No, no, I resist everything. I resist ground. I resist fire bubble. No, dude, that's not how you should do it. This Mon has an amazing double typing. Fire Steel. What does Steel do? It lets you resist the whole game. Similarly, look at Pex. Poison Fighting. If you're to Terra into something pure, it's not going to help you. You do not want to lose one of these typings. You lose your Water Typing, you're now weak to Fire moves and you're weak to Water moves. You lose your Psychic Typing, now you're weak to Fighting type moves and you're weak to Fairy type moves. Why would you want that whatsoever? You know what I mean? You do not want to go into a pure Terra type on your defensive Pokemon for the, for the most part. This was an issue that Dynamax also had uh, in Generation 8. Dynamax made offensive Pokemon so much better than defensive Pokemon. Because how the fuck do defensive Pokemon really utilize 
terrestrialized now this is only true for some defensive pokemon right i know some of y'all are gonna be like what about skeledurge and that is completely true skeledurge is a pokemon that defensively benefits from terra really well but that's because this is not a do nothing pokemon the way pex was pex needed these moves to stick around and not just sit there and get taken advantage of now this shit is is forced to do stuff like this like it, it doesn't even have real options anymore like this is what it does aka sits around does nothing something like dirge will love to turn into whatever type it wants because he's always going to win alone with these three moves. These three moves alone can turn Dirge into like a 1,000 special attack super beast. So it's a different story with mons like this that really do have clear-cut offensive capabilities. Pex is not one of those. And a lot of defensive Pokemon will will have to face the wrath of this when they come back in Pokemon Home. No more Defog, no more Knockoff, no more Scald, no more Toxic. All this, I mean, not that no more like they're gone, but the distribution of these moves is completely fried. So even stuff like Tornadus T, we used to see that all the time. What's it going to do now? Bro can't knock, defog, or toxic. What What the hell? Another thing we can talk about with stall is that the, the healing moves have been lessened as, well, lessened as well. 8 PP on recover, soft boiled, roost, all that stuff. The only thing that was left untouched, I believe, was wish, which has still has 16 PP. But, yep, this is just another thing. You can't outstall common moves the way it used to. A lot of stuff like Earthquake does have 16 PP, so... All these Pokemon that used to roost in software stall are completely fried. They're not going to be able to do it. So it's just so many different things, right? We have so many different things that help offense and completely just own stall. I mean, I'm even looking at Excalibur here. They gave this thing a random ass Glaive Rush. Like, look at this. 120 base power, random no locking in move. Like, they just, they just put all the power that they could in this generation. We got Protosynthesis as well. And Protosynthesis goes through unaware, which we have tested and we know for sure. So that's just another anti-unaware technique. Let me talk about some of the good attributes of stall though real quick. The unaware guys are really damn solid. And those are something that have to be on stall all the time. Dondozo has very high usage currently in the metagame. I believe it is the most used mon that... I mean, it has the highest usage for a mon that I would consider a stall staple. Dondozo is currently at 10.01%. I would never use stall without Dondozo. First of all, you need unaware on stall right balance teams in general would re uh, would benefit from unaware honestly every team benefits from having just one random unaware just because of how crazy offensive the metagame is and because setting up and terra typing can be really really annoying but anyway dozo is really damn good this should be like a stall staple nothing can beat this guy on the physically defensive side that's why he has 10 percent usage which is pretty damn high one in 10 teams are rocking dozo is is pretty impressive but uh, Skeledurge is there too. It has 12.07%. Um, this is a mon that can be used on anything. I don't think Skeledurge needs to be on stall, but it's a great mon regardless and definitely has a purpose on stall. Spreading out Wisp, having good immunities, spin blocker, that kind of thing. Garg is another mon. Garg is at 12% usage. This is a catch-all. I also think this thing is amazing on stall because you want uh, something to take the, what's it called? The status moves. And then Claude Zyre is at 13.5%. I believe the last guy I had was Amoongus, but Amoongus is only at 5%. These are guys who are just good on fatter teams, but in terms of stall, I would say only Dozo needs to be on stall. These other guys, they don't need to be on stall. They're all, they're all probably decent on stall. Don't get it twisted. These are these are champion fat mons. When you look at these starting five, this, these guys are amazing at just being fat and just doing things for you. These are not Toxapex. These guys actually do something. All of them do something. Amoongus, Spores, Clear Smogs, has regenerated. Generator. Claude Zyre, immune to poison, has unaware, and it's able to, what's it called? It's able to set up Stealth Rock and Spikes. Garganackle has the most broken move in Mon's history and can't get status. Dirge, we already talked about it. Hex, Wisp, Torch Song, all that good shit. Dozo has unaware and is actually strong and can curse and is the best cursor in the tier. So look at these Pokemon, and that's the difference between a lot of old stall Pokemon. The age of do nothing stall is in the toilet now, right? A lot of our old stall guys didn't even come back. We don't have Skarm, all right? Gliscor has been missing for two generations now. This thing alone would shit on stall if we had him back. He would just taunt and ruin all stall. But on the flip side, he would also be an absolute blessing for stall because he would come in here and just annoy everybody. There's no, you can't do shit with Gliscor anymore. He doesn't exist. And it's already been confirmed that he's apparently not coming back in Pokemon Home. Don't quote me on that. That's just what I was told by some of my friends. But yeah, those are two guys that would have been amazing. Um, and another thing I want to talk about as well. I mean, I just got so much to talk about with this. I thought this video would be a lot shorter than it is currently, but I, I still have a couple of more things to say really about stall and just basically all the hits it took. Another thing is that Toxapex's usage is only 4.17 to my knowledge. Let me check. Toxapex is at 4.17% usage, which makes this thing barely even OU to begin with. And as the metagame continues to shape itself, I, I, see, I see this usage going down. This shit is garbage. I don't understand why people use Pex. It's probably just like... 
them thinking, oh, well, it used to be good and it's just force of habit, but it cannot do anything it used to do. Also, the most common offensive type Pokemon, Golden Go, Chiyu, Chiampao. Chiyu and Chiampao love hitting this shit with Crunch and Dark Pulse and 2 KOing it. Like, Pex is not good. But past that, you keep going down and you see that Blissey is next at 2.5%. Every stall needs Blissey. So, what the fuck? Why is Blissey so low, right? Keep going down. Slowking, a mon that is defensive, but not really a stall staple at uh, 2.17. We got Big Woe at 1.6. And you, as you start going down, you just see like, these aren't even offensive mons. You, still, you got guys like Pinkurchin out doing stall, guys. It's tough. It's tough. Nothing is even really there then. Um, you got Slowbro at 1.02%. Gastrodot at 1.08. Blissey at 2.5. Like, everybody has really fallen off. It's the new guys, the Unaware Trio plus Claude, who have really taken over in terms of being defensive staples. Because they actually have offensive capabilities, too. Again, we got the offensive moves, too. I was talking about Glaive Rush. Huge spikes in Stealth Rock additions. All these different mons. Garchomp. Why did they give Garchomp spikes, right? We have no real magic... Uh, like, no real consistent magic bounce besides Hatterene. And Hatterene is good. I won't say Hatterene's bad. Hatterene is pretty damn solid at tanking on these ground types if you do max its HP and you max its defense. But all things considered, it's not a reliable uh, hazard removal by any means. Corv is the best defogger ever. Like, ever. Last generation, Corv would defog on everybody. It was nothing more fun. But now with Golden Go, Corv is in trouble. Corv is in trouble. And a lot of old Stallmons just get annoyed. Like, I look at Balloon Golden Go, for example. My first or second day of playing Gen 9, I saw Balloon Golden Go. I went into my Hippo Spideff with Whirlwind thinking, okay, it's fine. And then, of course, what do you think happened? Good as Gold activated and nothing happened and my Hippo got owned. Good as Gold in general just it fucks up the defensive stall so much. Like, all, half of their moves fall flat. This thing is on 32% of teams, like we said. You end up in a position where you are going to be using Niche Mons. Choice Band Chiampao, for example. This is already an extremely hard mon to beat. Stall has to rely on Don Dozo to beat that thing. Don Dozo has to be full Fizz Def. If you're a Spadef Dozo, you take 40% from Crunch. You have to be full Fizz Def to tank on CB Chiampao. And if that Chiampao does turn into a pure Dark type, which most of the Choice Band ones are anyway, well then your Dozo is going to get damn near to a KO'd. And if Rocks are up, that Dozo's done. That Dozo is done. I'm telling you. You can do a lot of things. You can do a lot of things, right? Like... The fact that Terastalize is here now, all these Pokemon can just double up on their stab type move. Basically gives all these things adaptability. Choice Mons in general are able to break through stall. You guys have seen my videos. I beat a lot of stalls just with Roaring Moon, Terastalizing Pure Dark, and hitting Choice Band Crunch over and over and over again. It's just too easy. It's way too easy. You double up your stab move and it pushes you over the edge to, uh, against defensive threats. I mean, there's so many guys. We got Roaring Moon. We got Iron Valiant. These guys don't even have to be choiced, and they're still able to cook stall really, really easily. Dark type, Ghost type, those buffs since Generation 6 has just been a net negative for the balance uh, play style as a whole. Because Dark types and Ghost types are overpowered. I don't think anyone would really disagree with that. I mean, look at the quartet that just came out. Chi Yu is going to be suspect tested at some point. And then the number one used guy is a Ghost type because... Shadow Ball has no drawback ever, and is one of the easiest moves to click. The only thing wrong with Shadow Ball is that the base power is low. But fortunately, that's made up for the fact that it has a 200% special defense drop rate. If I could say one thing is the most anti-stall technique right now, I would say that it's Chiyu. All you have to do is terrestrialize this guy into a fire type, and you're going to never lose to stall. Like I told you, Specs, Terra Fire, Fire Blast from Chiyu beats all stall. Blissey gets to it KO'd every time, so there's nothing they can do at that point. You can do Terra Dark too, it doesn't matter. You'll have more, tr more trouble versus Blissey, but if you have good luck with flinching, then go ahead and do that. And I would also say that if you do want to use Stall, you need to use Don Dozo, no matter what. And I would always say that um, it's better to use more Unaware than less Unaware if you're rocking Stall. I don't have a Stall to really show y'all. I deleted my last Stall, but this is about the fattest team I have. I brought this to one tournament and I lost pretty badly to Choice Ben Chiampao. Because if you look at this team, Choice Ben Chiampao comes in and literally fucks up everything. The Corv is Spadef, Garg is Spadef, Dozo's Fizz Def, but as I told y'all, this is not a good, uh, this is not a good long-term switch. Mine is not Rest, which is my own stupidity, but it doesn't matter. In general, these balanced teams, they just get run up on. This team is actually pretty decent all around. Like, the Mon choices are good. Like, these Mons are good, but you put them all together and you turn this into, like, some balanced, bulky offense bullshit, you're gonna get washed. If I have a Specs Chi Yu, I can wash this shit too, for sure. I overheat everybody. You have a Spadef Garg, my Dark Pulse still does a shit ton to your Garg. I think it does like 48 to, if not to it KOs. 
And if I'm terrible as grass, GG. This is done if I'm terrible as grass to you. This gets 12 0 if I'm terrible as grass to you, which I used earlier in the Tusk video. So in general, Stall has so much to deal with. To sum it up, the fact that Stall is one of the worst users of Terrastalize, I'm not saying defensive Terra is bad, but like I said, Heatran Pex, a lot of these double typed Pokemon, they don't want to go and lose one of these. They don't want that at all. Maybe late game when the score's 3 3, then yeah, sure, when you've you know, when you've lost your specific thread, then they're fine going into the one type. But overall, offensive Pokemon makes a much better use of Terrastalize versus a defensive Pokemon against it. That's just how I see it. A lot of these new Pokemon, Golden Go, Chi Yu, all the paradoxes, lack of just knockoff, Toxic Scald, all these good moves that turn do nothing Pokemon into not do nothing Pokemon. Now that these are gone, it's over, bro. It's over. Stall is in a really bad spot, in my opinion. I'm not saying it's totally unviable but i don't think it's good i don't lose to it really i don't use it either um yeah at the top of the ladder i would say that you're better off always having some type of balance with like rotom or iron treads or like a claw desire balance but you go full stall you're just asking to get cooked by golden go and chiyu like you're really just asking for it i think those mons will beat you so that's my opinion on stall currently let me know what you guys think in the below in the comments would love to hear what you guys think if you think you know i'm talking shit if you think stall is good if you agree that you know it's just been hurt too much and let me know what you think if in pokemon home uh you think it might bounce back we'll see what happens i i still don't think with pokemon home it's gonna be that big of a deal because all these mons still lost their important moves but then again we'll see hope you all enjoyed drop a big like peace